So much of mental health is about bringing thoughts and feelings into alignment with actions in a way that makes us feel like we're on a path of becoming more fully ourselves. Audiation is the way each of us understands the vocabulary we hear in music. Good teachers know how to incorporate singing and moving in lessons in a way that enables students to build their own vocabulary of tonal and rhythm patterns. In other words, bringing actions and thoughts into alignment. Music is the medium. The norm in music lessons is for teachers to tell students to play things the student doesn't understand. You know how damaging that is. And then the teacher, meaning well, might say, I'll show you how to do it. But it doesn't help because the student doesn't need to learn how to do it. They probably won't be able to learn how to do it until they understand what they're saying. It's a torture tactic. When a student sees four lights, we shouldn't be trying to teach them to say there are five. Add to that a misreading of 19th century metronome markings where students believe they have to play faster and faster and it won't ever be good enough until they achieve speeds that are literally unplayable. And I'm going to plug my piano course here because here's the thing. It's not businessman me that wants you to use it. It's piano teacher me. It's the me that wants people to experience healing and enjoyment learning music instead of what we have now, which is students attempting to make music they don't understand. So it's no surprise when they're not happy with it or when the quality isn't what they want. It doesn't have to be that way. And to the best of my knowledge, my play and sing in harmony course is the first serious attempt to spark music learning inside the user in a way that's available to everyone. There are other good teachers doing this work. Generally, they're focused on either their own real-time lessons or on teaching other teachers. Those are noble and important. It's just that those two approaches alone don't move fast enough for me. Other teachers often aren't willing or able to learn to teach differently, so students keep suffering. People might not like some things about my course, and that's fine. Make a better one. Learning music should be healing, not oppressive.